Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate this one. It's 2x minus 3 equals 7. So that's 2x minus 3 equals 7. Okay, so here's my equal line. Here's my equal line. Okay, so what I want to do, my goal is to isolate the variable. So I want to get these. Here's the variable. I want to get it by itself. So I need to get rid of this on this side. So I have three negatives. So what can I do to get rid of three negatives? I can add three positives. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add three positives right here. Now if I added three positives to this side, I have to add three positives to this side. So that's one, two, three. Okay, so what I just did is I added, I had 2x minus 3 plus 3 equals 7 plus 3. I'm just writing it that way because I want you to see what I did on both sides. I added 3 on both sides. Okay, so now this negative 3 and the positive 3, this right here is going to zero out. Okay, that gets rid of it so that I have the variable, I don't have any more constants on this side. So now I have 2x equals 10, right? So this right here just ended up being 0 right here. So that left me with 2x equals 10. So now I want to know what 1x is. I know 2 of them is 10, but I want to know what is 1 of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide it into two groups. So here's 1 and here's 1. So I'm going to go ahead and divide it into two groups. Okay, so this is what one of the x's equals. One x is equal to five positives. One x is five positives. So what I just did is I divided them both by two. Okay, so I'm just gonna highlight the step that I did on both sides. You can see that I did it on both sides of the equation um, so that I don't get, get it off balance. So two divided by two is just one, right? So I divided it by both by two, so I just have one left, right? So that's one x is the same as x, okay? One x and x is the same thing. It, one x is equal to five, okay? So my answer is five. Now I can plug that back in and make sure it works. If I had two x minus three equals seven, I could say two times five minus three. Well, what's 2 times 5? Let me move out of the way. 10, and 10 minus 3 is 7. So yes, that's correct. So now let's do this next one. I have 4, I already had that, 4 equals, so here's my equals, 3x, and it has 3 positives, so here's 3x's, 3 const, I mean variables, minus 8. So that's the same as saying 8 negatives, right? Okay, so I have 3x minus 8. I'm going to write, um, and 4 is equal to 3x minus 8. Okay, my goal is to isolate the variable, right? So, let me grab more constants real quick. So what I'm going to do is I need to get rid of that minus 8. So the way to do that is to be able to zero it out. So as long as I do it to both sides, it's going to be okay. I've got 8 negatives, so if I put 8 positives, I'm going to be able to zero this out so I can start to isolate that variable. So I'm going to put 8 positives. Okay, but if I did that to one side, I have to do it to the other side so that I'm not changing the value of anything, okay? As long as I'm doing it on both sides, my equation's still balanced. So I need to eight, add eight positives 
to this other side of the equation. It's 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Okay, so coming over here, I just said 3x minus 8. I said plus 8. And I had 4, and I said plus 8, right? So I'm going to highlight what I just did to both sides so you can see that I did it to both sides. Okay, so now that leaves me with how much over here? I have 12 over here now. So that's 12 is equal to, I have my three X's, but what happens to these? They zero out, right? I make zero pairs. Okay, so that means they go away because I've zeroed them out. So now I'm left with three of the X's equals 12. So now I need to figure out, well, I don't want to know what three of them are. I want to know what one of them is. So I'm going to divide them into three groups. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides by three. Okay, so I'm going to say, let me put it into three groups. Okay, so I have three groups right there. And so I just want to know, okay, what's one of those groups? Well, 1x is equal to four positives. So 4 equals X. Again, 1x and x is the same thing. 1x is just equal to x. This is one of these x's. So this is just x. I don't have to write 1 in front of it. I think that was a misconception some of us had. Let's do this next one. It says 9 equals 4x minus 3. So I'm going to start with 9 positives. 7, 8, 9. And then it says 4x. Those are positive x's. Minus 3. So I'm going to have 3 negatives. Okay, so 9 equals 4x minus 3. Again, my goal when I'm solving for x is to isolate that variable. I want to get one variable by itself. So I need to first get rid of these constants over here. So to get rid of these constants, if I have three negatives, if I put three positives, I can zero them out. So I can add three positives right here. But if I added three positives to that side, what do I have to do to the other side? Add three positives. Okay, so what I just did is I said, let's scoot this over a little bit, nine, I added three to that side, and I added three positives to this side. Okay, so you can see I added three. I added three. Okay, so now nine plus three is 12, right? Equals 4x. Okay, because this right here is zero. This makes zero. Okay. So now I want to know what one of them is. So what am I going to do? I'm going to divide it into four groups. Okay, if I divide it into four groups. Okay, so I want to know what's one of those groups. Well, one of those groups, because here's my equal sign, 1x is equal to three positives. So again, I just divided them both into four groups. So now I have three equals x. Okay, I'm gonna turn to the back. Okay, um, I'm gonna kind of skip around mainly because I'm gonna do some of the smaller ones. <laughs> So let's look at this bottom one that says negative 6x plus 1 equals negative 11. Okay, so that means I have negative, I have six of these variables that are all negative, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 
three, four, five, six. Okay, and then it says plus one, so I got a one right there. And then it's equal to negative 11. So I'm gonna put all these negatives over here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and 11. Okay, so I'm saying that this side is equal to this side. Okay, they are equal to each other, right? So whatever this is worth, it's worth the same amount as this is. So I'm going to write that negative 6x plus 1 equals negative 11. Okay, well, I want to get the variable by itself, so I need to get rid of this right here. So I need to zero it out. How am I going to zero it out? If I put a negative there, then they'll zero out. So I'm going to put a negative 1 there. If I put a negative 1 there, what do I have to do here? I have to put a negative 1 here. So what I just did is I said negative 6x plus 1 minus 1. Negative 11. And just I could say minus 1 or plus a negative 1 because I added a negative 1 there so that, I, that it was the same. Right? So again, I've got that negative 1, that negative 1. So this is going to go away because I just zeroed it out. Now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 negatives, right? So I have negative 6x equals negative 12. Well, I want to know what is 1x. So I need to divide them into six groups. But these are negative. I don't want to know what the value of negative 6 is. Of, I mean negative x. I want to know positive x. So I'm going to flip these over. Well, let me, let me back up. Let me divide this into six groups real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's going to be two in each group, right? Two negatives in each group. And I just want to know what one of them is. So what I can do is I can say, well, I don't want a negative. I want a positive x. So I'm going to flip that one, which means I need to flip that. So what's one positive x is equal to two positives. So I just divided it by a negative 6 is what I did. Okay. And that a negative divided by a negative is a positive, right? So that just canceled out equals a negative divided by negative makes a positive. So 12 divided by 6 is 2. So x is equal to 2. And again, I'm just going to show you that I divided both sides by 6. Okay. I'm hoping that this has helped some um, in that you feel a little bit more confident to do this. And I hope you are getting it. Thank you.